name's Maggie. We're here at Supply Side West uh, in Las Vegas, and uh, the show is kicking off to a great start. I'm here with Dr. Michael Murray. He's representing Mitsubishi, and he's here to tell us some awesome news about glutathione. Um, so how's the show been for you so far? It looks like it's going to be a great show. It's very busy and lots of energy, great energy here. Yeah, it's packed. We're right here yeah. on the show floor, or the, um, the exhibit hall going into the show floor, and it's really busy. It's, it's, uh, yeah. it's a great start. Yeah. Um, so tell us about glutathione and some of the exciting um, things that well, have happened lately. Uh, glutathione is one of the key molecules of life. It's, it's our key intracellular antioxidant. It serves many important vital functions. It's been available as a dietary supplement for many, many years. And there's a lot of misconceptions that need to get uh, eliminated. The first one is that glutathione is not absorbed. That was uh, shown not to be the case several years ago. Glutathione is absorbed. Uh, the next thing that needs to be dispelled is that N-acetylcysteine is better than glutathione because glutathione's not absorbed. We know that that's not true. They did a new study, and this is what I really want to tell people about. There was a study that was done where they labeled glutathione and they labeled cysteine and fed it to animals. And in the animal study, what they showed was is that the glutathione was taken up intact and absorbed by cells. The N-acetylcysteine, none of it, or no significant amount, was converted to glutathione. So just the opposite of what we thought was happening turned out to be the case. Glutathione supplementation boosts glutathione levels. N-acetylcysteine le does not seem to really impact or boost glutathione levels. So that's big news. So formulators need to know that, uh, consumers need to know that, and retailers need to know that. So what are some of the, um, the benefits to having glutathione in your body and, and enough of it? Yeah, glutathione uh, serves many important roles. One is as a protector. It is one of the key antioxidants in our body and is particularly important in fighting against persistent organic pollutants, pesticides, herbicides, flame retards, all these things that we're uh, surrounded by. Uh, glutathione is key in eliminating those compounds. So uh, glutathione is very important for liver function, very important for uh, muscle and any active tissue, our brain cells. Every cell in our body needs glutathione. Uh, Mitsubishi, through Kojin, uh, has done some great research with Apotac, their brand of glutathione, and they've shown it to, for example, here was a study that was done uh, last year uh, improving uh, muscle fatigue induced by prolonged uh, exercise. They found that glutathione actually boosted energy production and it has some very interesting effects that everybody needs to know about. Uh, it basically promotes the breakdown of fat, it, it basically enhances our production of energy uh, and it protects those muscle cells during exercise. It also has great effects on the liver. Uh, here's, a, here's a study that was uh, uh, again done last year uh, with glutathione for uh, fatty liver disease and fantastic results. So we know that it's absorbed. We know that it's clinically effective at reasonable dosages. The study in liver health was 300 milligrams a day. In the study with sports nutrition, the dose was 1,000 milligrams per day. Mm -hmm. These are achievable through supplementation. Okay, and I will say too, there's a white paper that was produced that explains some of these, um, you know, science that has been yeah. um, affected towards it, and and just really breaks it down. And it was really helpful and interesting to read all of the benefits of glutathione, and um, and that's been supported by science now too. So we'll link to that in the comments of this because it was really fascinating. Yeah. And um, and it just showcased all the things you're talking about. You said energy, and I was like, right now yeah. for the show, I need energy. So. Well, it's a. It's it's a great anti-aging molecule. Uh, it, it's probably the, the most important intracellular anti-aging compound that we have. And as we naturally age, there's a reduction in our glutathione levels. And supplementation has been shown to make up that difference, make up the difference that we tend to see uh, with a decline in glutathione uh, associated with aging. Hmm. That's that's. It sounds very significant and uh, and kind of a game changer in terms of where the industry is right now and yeah. how they think about glutathione. Um, for a uh, supplementation company, um, what should they know about glutathione and, and how to add it to some of their formulations? Well, uh, it's very stable. We use the reduced form. 
Uh, the first thing they need to, need to know is that it is absorbed uh, and it has benefits beyond those achieved by N-acetylcysteine. Uh, the two are not synonymous. Glutathione supplementation actually boosts glutathione levels uh, throughout the body, so very important differentiating factor there. And two, or three, <laughs> we have good uh, clinical data now and more will be coming. Uh, now that we've proven that it is absorbed, it is utilized, it does boost glutathione levels, uh, it will be shown to be effective in a wide range of, of different health conditions. Awesome. Um, is there, what else do these, do brands need to know? Is there anything, I feel like you've already talked about the significance of it, is there even more out there that I just, the exciting news doesn't seem to end with all of this? It is great. Uh, I think any sort of uh, condition that's linked to decreased mitochondrial function, mm -hmm. aging, chronic uh, diseases, these are uh, indications that those folks have low levels of glutathione. So boosting glutathione levels is important for any age-related disorder, anytime you're dealing with a deficiency in mitochondrial function, anytime people are exposed to uh, toxins in their environment. Uh, All the time. Yeah, <laughs> even, even if something is, uh, is seemingly innocuous is Tylenol. Tylenol, it's very detrimental because it lowers glutathione levels. Hmm. So all the side effects that you associate to acetaminophen, increased risk for Alzheimer's disease, increased risk for heart disease, these are all related to depletion of glutathione. So I think there's going to be a greater focus on how we can offset some of the detrimental effects of the environmental stress and the drug toxicology. A, a new study just came out showing that 60% of people over the age of 60 are on five or more medications mm -hmm. at any one time. Uh, when you're taking a lot of these drugs, you're going to see depleted glutathione levels, and I think uh, supplementation is very wise. Yeah. We're seeing that um, as, I feel like, an overarching trend here, too, where um, later in life people are looking for not over the, the extending life, but the quality of that life as well, and it sounds like this might be something that could help with that quality of life um, that people are looking for. The, the analogy that I like to give with glutathione is in terms of a supplement it's like a hundred dollar bill and some of the other supplements like N-acetylcysteine is like a penny so the body doesn't really value some of those compounds but the body holds great value for glutathione and we should too as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so Mitsubishi has a booth here mm -hmm. at Supply Side West. They are at 2462 yeah. Yeah. Um, and Opatac is their brand of glutathione. Um, will, will you be at the booth? Are you walking around? I'm or? walking around. If okay. people have questions, they can uh, come up and talk to me. Okay. Uh, there's also a website, opitacglutathione.com. Okay. Uh, and that has some good information on it too. Awesome. We'll we'll link to that in the comments, so that okay, people great. have uh, an easy way to access that once they've uh, they've listened to it. Anything else we need to know about uh, glutathione? Well, you know, the one thing it's that I love about it is that you know you have these these great research articles, so people can can read these articles and understand the science behind. Uh, glutathione because mm -hmm. uh, it's quite significant. It, it's a very important uh, natural product in our industry. That's awesome. So th thank you for uh, kind of dissecting all of it and, uh, and making it easy to comprehend and it sounds like there's just a lot there, um, a lot of potential that, um, that we can look into and, and see in the near future. Absolutely. But thank you so much for talking to us today. Thanks everyone for joining us and thank we'll you. see you at Supply Side.